Hey girls, we are coming to you today to talk about one of our favorite topics, and that's moving from your warm market into your cold market. When you first start with January, a lot of us start with our launch party. You're looking at friends and family to host this parties for you, and then you need to figure out what to do next. So we're going to talk about that next step, moving into your cold market. And there's a couple of different techniques and different things that we can do. Um, and one of my favorites is vendor events. Yes. And vendor events was something that sounded very scary to me mm -hmm. in the beginning. Yeah, me too. You know, I've been doing online parties, mostly a few in-homes, mm -hmm. but didn't know how to find the vendor events, what to do when I got there. Do I need a lot of things? Right. Right, and it's important to define that before you start signing up for those events. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so there's a lot of different ways you can find vendor events. So, Google. Mm -hmm. um, some of the big words that you could look for were, are vendor, vendor events, craft shows, bazaars, bridal yeah. shows. Yeah, you can even call churches and ask mm -hmm. about their festivals. You can look for, especially, uh, we're in the autumn season right now, you can look for fall festivals, you can look for Thanksgiving expos, you can look even for some, they do Christmas preview craft shows. Yeah. You can start kind of digging in and figuring out what's in your area. Schools are another good place to contact. You can totally call. The receptionist wants to be, I've worked in schools, she wants to be the source of information. Yeah. And she often knows what's going on, or he. Mm -hmm. um, so you'd contact that person, ask, is there any events coming up? Is there any fundraisers? Yeah. What can, you know, how can I get involved? They would love to have, you know, parent and community involvement. Mm -hmm. So that's a really good place to look. Um, and a lot of times they'll have carnivals. That would be an awesome place to set up a table. Yeah. Put some juniors, you know, out there. Get get your name out there. That's what vendor events is really about. It's not so much about sales. So don't worry no. if you don't have a bunch of inventory. No. What it's really about is booking parties. Yes. Getting recruits and leads and networking. So you're gonna want to arrive to your vendor events early. Yes. Because shockingly enough. One of the main groups of people that you're connecting with are the other vendors. Yep. It's not just about the foot traffic that you get. You can connect with a lot of other vendors that way. You can help them carry their stuff in mm -hmm. because at that point they're saying, wow, she didn't have a lot of stuff to set up. Right. But I have totes and totes and boxes and boxes. Mm -hmm. So And tons and tons of inventory. Right. And mm -hmm. she doesn't have to have that. So what it makes them wonder about our product mm -hmm. and our opportunity. So just getting your name out there, being helpful, and you know, hand out business cards, switch business cards. Um, a really good tip that we heard from somebody at regionals yes. was that you're gonna want to email though that group. So maybe have a group. You know, it was so nice to meet all of you to all the vendors that were at the event. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe you have five or six cards. Yeah. Here's the events that I'm doing this month, and you know, maybe the links or contact people with it. Right. What do you guys have on your books for the next couple months? That way, you guys can share and become this wealth of knowledge for each other mm -hmm. um, to get your name out there. You, because. Right. The company is growing, yeah. um, so it might, uh, right now I feel like there's tons of opportunities to get tables. Yes. But you know, in the in the coming months, years, mm -hmm. it might get a little bit harder. So you might want to get on a town board, a um, chamber of commerce. Mm -hmm. It's all about networking. It's all about making those connections, um, and not only getting your name out there, but also preventing presenting some value to someone else. Um, and what you can bring to them and how you can help them build their business too. So think of it with a little bit of a community mindset. Mm -hmm. And then when you do have foot traffic and you do have people coming through, you are not so much worried about selling 20 sheets of wraps. That doesn't happen very often. Mm -hmm. There are some specific events that talk about being primarily a cash and carry uh, kind of product heavy event. Most of the time you are having people fill out a form for a prize. You're having them fill out lead sheets. You are it's putting follow-ups. Yes. Yeah. Follow up is huge. You follow up day two, then you follow up in two weeks, and then you follow up in two months. That's one very popular follow up checkmark system. Yeah. Um, but the whole purpose of it is making those connections. Mm -hmm. And those people can turn into hostesses, they could turn into recruits, they could turn into customers, yeah. or they could just turn into somebody that you met, that you made a positive impression yeah. about yourself and about Jane Barry on. Yeah. So they know your name, I yes. know the company's name. That benefits you, that benefits your team. Yeah, and you never know if they're going to be a referral source for you later on. So be really open-minded when you're looking at vendor events. Mm -hmm. Don't think of it strictly as inventory and product. Yeah. Um, another great thing, so we're kind of moving into fundraisers. Yeah. So you, you might, you know, ask people, does anybody have a fundraiser on to do? And that might come up dry. Mm -hmm. Don't panic. Mm -hmm. You can go out there. You can call um, Patty, who spoke at regionals. Wonderful woman. One of the leaders in Jamber. Extremely mm -hmm. wise. Yeah. Um, and she will, she's really big in a dog rescue. So she'll pit two 
dog rescues against each other in a battle of the dog rescue and whoever wins you know gets more donated to yes. them but all the donations go to both for whoever you know buys from each party so they'd be set up different in your workstation mm -hmm. but you'd have them together in an online group right um, so that's super wise you could do that with teachers too battle of the teachers Such for a good idea. who wants to earn um for supplies, supplies right? yeah and i love that thing. yes that's right. so smart it's awesome and i love that with schools too because you can actually open up a whole new warm market with mm -hmm kids and teachers and all of yes. those different um, demographics that you're already accessing through that kind of event. So fundraisers are awesome. Yes. They're so good. They really are. And then one other thought. So you're out of hostesses. Yeah. Right. You, you don't want to tap anybody else out in your circle. Mm -hmm. Be the hostess. Host. <gasps> Wait a minute. What? You can be the hostess. You can be your own hostess. Yes. So host. After your lunch party. Exactly. As what? many. And there's no limit. Oh on how many times you can host. Mind blow. <laughs> so you could have a Manny's Margaritas night. So you could say, meet me at Don Julio's at six o'clock. I'm gonna buy a picture of margaritas. The first couple people here on the house. Let's just put them on. You're not saying come buy them. You're not, you're, it's getting your name out there. You could do that with your neighborhood. You could, you could have a hot tub, uh, petties and something else that starts with a P. Yeah. Fun snacks, yeah. appetizers, do nails, invite your community. Yes. But getting your word out there. I know also we've had some girls go to coffee shops. Yeah. Go just start doing your manicure in a coffee shop and text some friends and say, hey, come meet me here. And I even wanted to take a look at these Janberry nails and we'll show you how to do it. And so what if nobody meets you? You're still having people around you looking at you going, what are you doing? What is that heater? Mm -hmm. What are you doing to your nails? The baristas maybe go during a slow time yeah. where they would be able to come over and check Absolutely. it out. Absolutely. They might need some extra income. That's a lead. That's mm -hmm. huge. Mm -hmm. um, seeing you just doing out there. Get your name up out there. Get your face out there. Get the company out there. Yeah. Make sure people around you know that you are doing Jamberry. We've talked before about not crossing the line into being a pushy salesperson. None of us want to be that. No. Ever. You don't want to be that lady. No. Worst nightmare. Yeah. But if you're doing this with honor and you're doing this with a, a community mindset, you're not going to be that lady. So yeah. um, just as long as you are seeking to get your name out there and people know and they associate you with January. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's awesome. Yeah. Plus so you look great nails all the time. Hello. So there's just a few more ideas for you guys. Tips. Get out there. Get out into your cold market. It's not as scary as it seems.